So this is my video which is going to help you learn how to balance equations using poker chips. Um, I have provided a key down the left hand side. I'm going to have a red poker chip representing oxygen, a white one for hydrogen, a green one for chlorine. Our metal is always going to be black and sulphur, which we'll get to later on, is going to be blue. So we're going to start off with our first equation, which is quite an easy one. We're going to limber up with magnesium plus oxygen going to magnesium oxide, okay? So we are going to need some black chips. We are going to need some red chips, okay? Because we've got magnesium and oxygen. Right, what do those numbers mean up there? So Mg just means magnesium. It means one magnesium atom. So we're going to take one black chip. I'm just going to move this to one side slightly. You should still be able to see that in the screen. That's our magnesium, okay? So bring this further down. Magnesium. Brilliant. Okay, so what does that little two mean there? That two means that there is an oxygen molecule which is made up of two oxygen atoms covalently bonded together. Okay, so for that, I'm going to put down two poker chips. There's our magnesium, and oh, there's our oxygen molecule. Right, the third one is our magnesium oxide. So the formula MgO, what that actually means is that one magnesium is bonded to one oxygen. So I'm going to have one red chip, back in the screen, and one black chip. Right, so there we are, we set our chips up as our basic equation, but that's not balanced, and I'll tell you why. So I'm going to put a little arrow in there, so you can just make sure you're really clear that there's an arrow there. Now, we need the same number of chips on this side as on this side, and more importantly, we need the same colour of chips, okay? So if we've got one red and one black on this side, we've got to somehow balance that up with the other side. So I always start with which side's got too much of something. So the side that's got too much of something right now is this side, okay? I've got two red chips, and I've only got one red chip on this side. So I've got a bit of a problem. Now, this casino has some rather strange rules, unfortunately. This casino's rules are that you can only bet the same sets of chips that are already on the table, okay? So ignoring our little key, which I'll pull out of view for the moment, okay? We can only bet the same chips that are already on the table. So to balance up what's on this side, I am only allowed to put down a black chip and a red chip. Okay? I cannot put down anything else. I'm not allowed to just put down a red chip. That is not allowed in this casino. I have to put down a red chip and a black chip. Okay, so great. Okay, so our red chips, we've got the same on each side. We've got two on this side and two on this side. But now we've got a problem. Now we've got a problem because we've got two black ones on this side and we've only got one black one on that side. So we need to double our bets up. Okay, we need to double up our number of black chips. Now I'm allowed to put this black chip here because there is a single black chip here. Okay, I'm allowed to put exactly the same down as I've already got. Okay, so great. How many chips have I got on each side of that arrow now? I've got two black ones, I've got two red ones. Okay, good. On this side, I've got two black ones and I've got two red ones. Great. That means that I have balanced my equation. Now we need to translate that back into chemistry. Okay, so what this means is that I have got two magnesiums. I've still only got one oxygen molecule because those two oxygen atoms are joined together as an oxygen molecule. But look over this side. I've got two units of magnesium oxide, so I've got two of these. So I need to put a two in there, and that has balanced my first equation. So we're gonna move on to a slightly more complicated example this time, so I've put this key back in the corner. Um, we've got this thing called H2O2 on this side. This is called hydrogen peroxide. It's what uh, some of us ladies out there like to put on our hair. Um, gentlemen as well, see, I guess. Right, so here we go. We're going to make an H2O2 molecule on the left-hand side of the equation. So what that means, that H2O2 means that we have two atoms of hydrogen, two of those white chips there on the key, 
and two atoms of oxygen bonded together. Okay, so that H2O2 is represented by those four chips, two white ones for the hydrogen and two red ones for the oxygen. Right, so we make H2O, which we all know and love as water, right? So I said that a red, red is oxygen and white is hydrogen, okay? So let's hope we get this one out. This is H2O, okay? So that can be represented by the two white chips and the one red chip because you've got two hydrogens and one oxygen, okay? The other thing that's being made is oxygen. So remember we did that in the last one, it says O2, which means you've got two atoms bound together okay, as an oxygen molecule. Right, last time round, I started out by saying I needed to see which side I had something more of. So, on one side of the equation, I have two whites and two reds. On this side of the equation, I've got two whites, which is fine, and I've got three reds. That is a problem. Remember the rules of the casino? I can only add what's already on the table. I can only allow to gamble what's already on the table. So I need to add something to this side because this has got fewer bits on it. So I'm going to add exactly the same thing again, okay? Because that's the only thing I'm allowed to do, okay? So now let's count it up. I've got four white chips on this side of the table. One, two, three, four. I've got four red chips on this side of the table. So now I have still got three chips on this side of the table, red chips and two white chips. That doesn't look like that's helping me much. Okay, well let's try and have a look at the hydrogens now. Let's have a look at the white chips. Let's try and balance those out. I've got four white chips on this side of the table and I've only got two white chips on this side of the table. Ah, I can make a bet to make exactly four white chips on that side of the table because I'm allowed to double up this bet. I'm allowed to put down a second one of these. Great. Okay, so let's have a look at this now. Stand back. Okay, I have got on this side four white chips, four red chips. On this side I've got one, two, three, four white chips. I've got four red chips. I think that might well be balanced. So now we need to put it back into the chemistry. This, you remember, was called H2O2. Two H's, two O's. But we've got two of them, so we need to put a two here, up in front of that. How many water molecules have we got? Well, this is one water molecule, and we added a second one. So we've got two H2Os. Okay, and we've still only got one oxygen molecule. So we don't need to put anything in front of that. We could put a one in front of there, but chemists just tend to assume that there's a one there if there's no number. That is balanced. Okay, next one up is sodium and chlorine I'm going to make sodium chloride. So I'm just going to move this up so you can see my key. I'm going to make my chlorine green. I'm going to make my metal black. I'm going to move that right back up there so it's out of the way for me. If you can still see that. Right, so my sodium is going to be a black chip. There is no number in front of the Na, which means there is only one of them. One chip. Right. There is a little 2 next to the Cl's, which means that this is a molecule made up of two atoms covalently bonded together. Great. Okay. So that's that gamble. So I'm going to make, on the other side, an NaCl unit. Okay. So I've got one Na and one Cl bonded together. Great. So as my starting point. Remember, I always look for where have I got too many chips. I need to balance them up. Okay, at the moment I've got one black, two greens. On this side I've got one black and one green. I have got too many greens on this side. So I'm going to balance that up. Remember, I can only double up the bets that are already on the table in this casino. So I have to put down another NaCl on this side. Okay, so I've got two of those. Now I've got one black, two greens. Two blacks, two greens. So I need to now, I've got too many black chips on this side of the table. I've got the right number of green chips on each side, but I've only got one black chip over here. Now, I'm allowed to make this bet because I'm just doubling up the bet that's already there. So this one's quite simple. Now we need to translate it back into chemistry. We've got two NAs. 
we've got one chlorine molecule making two NaCl's and that's your balanced equation. So I'm going to go on to a slightly more tricky one now. I've got magnesium and hydrochloric acid. So my magnesium is going to be a black chip. My hydrogen is a white chip as before. My chlorine is a green chip. Okay, so we're going to be using black, green and white. So let's start with my magnesium. My magnesium is one black chip. Okay, plus HCl. Okay, hydrochloric acid in this case. So it's going to be one white chip bonded to one green chip. That's the HCl. Okay. So you've been given the formula, so you don't have to work it out at year 10 level. You've got MgCl2. Okay, so that's going to mean one black chip and two green chips. Okay. MgCl2 and H2, which is two white chips together, because that two means that you've got two hydrogen atoms bonded together. So now it's simple, we just need to start counting up on each side. I've got one of every colour on this side, okay, so I've got two whites and two greens. I have got way too much white and green in here on this side, so I need to add some white and green on the other side. Well, luckily enough, I'm allowed to make that bet. I can add up another white and green on this side. Okay. Let's move that off a bit so you can see both of them. So I'm allowed to double up my bet here. So now let's have a look at this. This falls out really easily now, because I've got one black on each side. I've got two whites on each side. I've got two greens on each side. Okay, let's translate that back into the chemistry. We've got one magnesium. I don't need to put a number in there. We've got two of these HCl's, two. We've got one of these MgCl2's, and we've got one of these H2's. So that equation is balanced. So I'm going to do my last example for you here. This is a neutralisation reaction. It's the neutralisation of sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. Now this one looks a little bit tricky, but we're going to make it simple using the poker chips. So I'm going to make my black chip is going to be my sodium. Um, my red chips are going to be oxygens. And my white chips are hydrogens. And my blue chips are going to be sulphur. So first things first, do exactly the same as we did with all the other ones. We work out what NaOH is in terms of chips, okay? So I've got Na, sodium, with one oxygen and one hydrogen, okay? Remember that elements start with a capital letter, okay? So if you've got a small letter, that's the same element. As soon as you're onto another capital letter, it's a new element, you need to start a new chip. Right, Hyd uh, sulfuric acid. So I've got two hydrogens, one, two, I hope that's gonna be a focus there, yep. We've got a sulfur, that's a blue one. And then we've got four of these oxygens. Crikey, that's a big old beast here. I might have to move my things, chips over a little bit. Sulfuric acid, so you can just about see that one there. So there's my sulfuric acid. On the other side, we are making sodium sulfate. And now you are given the formula of this at year 10 level. Um, so you've got two sodiums. two black chips, one blue chip, which is your sulphur, and four red chips, which are your sulphates. One, two, three, four, sodium, Na2SO4, great. Okay, and we've made a lovely little H2O molecule as well, so we know what that is. That's two white chips and a red chip, two hydrogens and one oxygen. Oh my word, if I start having to count up these chips, then I'm gonna make a mistake. There's just too much here. I can't cope with this thought. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you a little trick with this one. What you can do, the sulfate doesn't change in the reaction. So I'm gonna pile those up. So that pile of chips represents a sulfate. That represents the SO4. All I've done is I've piled them up, okay? And I've done that because I've seen that SO4 looks the same on both sides of the equation, okay? So it doesn't change, it stays in a group. So I've grouped them together. That makes it a load easier, okay? Because on this side, I've got one metal, so one sodium. I've got three hydrogens. I've got one oxygen and a sulfate. On this side, I've got two metals. I've got one sulfate 
got two hydrogens and an oxygen. So the easiest one to look at first, I guess, is going to be this two to one. Okay, so we've got two blacks and we've got one black on this side. So we need to add another sodium hydroxide. Okay, I'm going to move the key out in the corner just because I haven't got enough space. I think by now, hopefully, you should remember what these colours are. There's another sodium hydroxide. I can make that bet because I'm allowed to put the things down that are already there. Okay, so let's have a look at this now. On this side, I've got my two black chips, I've got my two white chips, and I've got a red chip. Okay. On this side, I've got my two black chips, I've got four white chips and two red chips, and I've got my sulfate on each side. Okay, so they're balanced. So it looks to me like I have got two red chips on this side, but only one red chip on this side. I'm going to ignore the red chips that are in these piles because they're different. Okay. I've got two on this side and one on that side. So, quick and easy, I'm going to add. On this side, I'm going to increase my number of red chips by adding a water. Now, I didn't increase my red chips by adding another one of these. Okay, because if I add another one of these, I'm adding all sorts of other stuff. Okay, so try and add the simpler things first. Let's have a look now. I've got two black chips, four white chips, two red chips, and the pile of chips. Two black chips, two, two. Two red chips, two, two. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the big pile of chips. I think that's balanced. So now we should translate it back into chemistry. I've got two of our NOHs. I've got one sulfuric acid. I've got one sodium sulfate. And we have made two waters. And if you want to look that up and double check me, that is the balanced equation for the neutralisation of sulfuric acid and um, sodium hydroxide. So I hope this is useful to you um, and that once you've had a go at this with chips or with loom bands or coins or sticky dot stickers, you'll start to get this. I think, you know, you need to practice it physically and then you'll start to get it in your student, your mind's eye and you'll start to do it in your head.